Koyasan, Japan's most sacred Buddhist site and one of the most mystical places we've ever visited. This is where you can escape the hustle and bustle of the city, retreat deep into the mountains, find sojourn in a temple and experience the ethereal Goma fire ritual. Let's start the journey there. So this is our second train on the way to Koyasan. We still have another cable car ride before we get up to the mountain, but the journey has been stunning so far. Wow, we're getting really high up the mountain now. As you can see here. Wow, we made it to Gakurakubashi, and this station is really nice. Like, look at the roof. So now we actually have to catch a cable car, which we're making our way through the station. This cable car actually is designed really, really nicely. They've got like nice wood features and the ceiling has an awesome design. 867 meters up. Ooh, pretty high. So what you're going to do when you get off the cable car is actually find your bus to take you to your temple that you wish to stay at. Now the station staff are quite friendly so you can always ask them if you need or just Google Maps. Even Google Maps told me where to go. What's really amazing is we've been to a lot of villages and towns in the mountains of Europe but this year, like being in the Japanese mountains and these villages is a totally different vibe. It's so nice with these like Edo style houses, the temples, it's pretty magical. It is really really pretty here. So many nice things here. Hi Black. Hi. <laughs> I'm gonna have some water. Okay. Oh my god, it looks so beautiful from outside already. I can see the Japanese garden from here. I feel so special coming here. Like nothing you've ever experienced before. First off, we're just getting checked in and they've given us a guidebook to recommend things and also a schedule, a schedule well, of a schedule. what we can do. Yep. So it's going to be an early start tomorrow morning because we want to make it to the morning service which is at 7 a.m. And then we want to make it for the fire ritual, which is at 7.30 in the morning. And then breakfast is at 8. So we're gonna have to make it an early night. This is where we are staying for the night. Come on along, let me take you for a tour. It is actually really, really spacious. So this is where we'll be sleeping and maybe having tea and drinks here as well. This is where the futons will be set up. We have two rooms, one here, one over there. And we have our own private toilet as well, I believe, over here. A oh, nice and nice. spacious toilet. Oh, we've got our own sink and everything as well. Oh, wow. Yeah, I feel like that is a magical rock or something, so I'll keep my distance. <laughs> Don't leave that. We have a TV as well. See, at night, like the monks peeking through the bushes? Yeah, They're yeah. watching. <laughs> They're watching. <laughs> we have Wi Fi here too, by the way. <laughs> been eyeing this box since we came in so I want to see what's in it oh it's a little tea set I think that's the tea I'm not sure tea bag. We'll have to make it and find out well maybe these are snacks to have with your green tea so this is the green tea you can make your own green tea this water in here is still hot Each day at 4 p.m. you can partake in afternoon meditation in the main hall for guests, which is where we're heading now. Right now we're just waiting to be brought in by the monks to start our afternoon meditation exercises. All right, just got back from the afternoon meditation and they've set up all the beds for us. Time for dinner. I can't wait to see what they have installed for us. Dinner is ready. All right, 
right, so there's so many choices to pick from. We're also told that this is a completely vegan menu. So super, super healthy. Our wonderful guide has advised us to start with the clear soup. Ooh, trying the clear soup. Wow, that is a really nice clear soup. The flavors are so infused in it. Mm. Wow, another awesome one. That was absolutely delicious. And yeah, everything was so tasty. And what I like most about like these Japanese style kaiseki meals is that you get to try a little bit of everything. So you're not just ordering one dish for yourself and that's all you're eating. You get to try a little bit of this, a little bit of the radish, a little bit of soup, a little bit of sweets, a little bit of noodles, rice, everything. One unforgettable experience you have to do during your stay at Ekowen is to go on the night walk with the monks to the mystical Okunoin Cemetery. It was a tad hard to film at night due to how dark it was, but we can confidently say it is an otherworldly tour led by an amazing English-speaking monk who will tell you all about the 1,000-year history of the cemetery and the legends that are buried here, including samurai and feudal lords. This was undoubtedly one of the highlights of the whole Koyasan experience. Okay, it's time to head back to Ekowen for a relaxing traditional Japanese bath before hitting the hay. It's time for bed. We just got back from using the hot bath and oh my god, I love Japanese baths. They're so nice in the hot pool. Anyways, guys, it's pretty late, so we're gonna go to bed. We're gonna wake up really, really early. So we'll see you in the morning. Good night. Good morning fam. Okay, so it's almost seven o'clock in the morning and we're gonna go catch the morning ceremony that they do every day and also the fire ceremony, which we've been looking forward to this whole trip. So let's go and check it out. Oh, you can hear they've already started some chanting. <laughs> It's now time for breakfast. We just finished the ceremony and absolutely mind blown. So now it's time for breakfast. What's inside, Flo? Miso soup. Oh, Flo says we have miso soup in here. Yeah, that that. Oh, Why, well, thank you. You're welcome. Guys, what did you think of the fire ceremony, right? <laughs> oofed. So you got oofed by it. Yeah. It was so intense, wasn't it, with the drums? The most thing I liked about it was fire ritual, the fire. Mm. It got bigger, I liked that. <laughs> ah, yeah, it was. I think there was like a very strong spiritual aspect of it that just kind of, it's, it's really hard to explain. Like Andy said, he was doing things. Like I saw this weird, like, um, white smoke that went up and it was weird because it, there was nothing else. It was just smoke and there was just, I was like, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So we're just going to quickly finish off breakfast and see if we can explore more of Koya-san. So just sit tight. I believe this is one of the other main temple stays that you can actually stay the night. Wow guys, look at this place. Shoujo Shin Tour Guide. So this is also another temple, but it looks amazing. Wow, I love the gold features on the top of the two temples here and the background of the green forestry. It's like it's quite modern. Isn't it? All right, we thought it would be good to show you guys how the Okunoin Cemetery looks like in the day. Some of these look like they have been around for a long time, like they've withstood time. You just really feel like you kind of, some of them are new, some of them are old, but you feel like you stepped into history almost as well. We're told that there's a lot of samurais here as well, so that's pretty special. 
So legend has it that Kobodaishi himself sat on this stone in here to rest 1200 years ago. Wow, these look extra special. They've got actually like a house built, maybe for family members who have passed. They put them inside to keep their remains there. Oh, okay, so we see here, this is actually the mausoleum for Matsudaira Hideyasu, which I'm not sure, but I will Google it and post it for you guys to see. But wow, they got a special mausoleum, that's for sure. Once again, we've reached the point where we can't film, but we'll let you know when we come back. Okay, so we've just come back from that main section. Really, really recommend it in the daytime as well. Check out the lantern hall as well and go inside the main hall. That is really, really stunning inside. Now I'm actually really happy we're taking the walk from Echo Inn to Daimo Gate because you see all the different temples aligned along this main road in Koyasan and they're so interesting, each of them with their own unique designs and different uh, symbols of Buddhism that they believe in. Really, really interesting if you're into this sort of thing. All right, I was looking for a store that sold red bean specialties and we came across here where we found the yaki mochi, which is what we tried yesterday at the station and it was so good. And I found a store that does them and we're gonna eat them. And we got a bunch of other snacks too, so. temple certainly has a lot of history to it it actually looks very historical so nice even still we have got the old school ladder just to get up to the roof the wooden floors and everything the detailing this epic building behind me is the great fundamental pagoda and it is the tallest building in all of Koyasan. It had burnt down three or four times from fires and rebuilt every single time. Four people, it's much more better. Keep going, finish it off. Okay guys, so we're gonna end it right here. This is definitely a must do if you come to Japan, come to Koyasan, it's a once in a lifetime experience. If you like this video, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, it'll mean so much to us and join us on more Japan journeys. Until the next one, peace out.